What's up everyone? I have a 5 meerkat victory for today and I'm very proud of this one because I managed to get it before the update dropped which made it, um, the meerkat even worse. <laughs> but yeah, uh, this is going to be a fun run I think. You will enjoy watching it. Uh, I think uh, meerkat honestly on first inspection when I saw it I didn't think it was a bad unit but uh, I've been very disappointed with it. Like 12 gold is just too much for it to trigger its effect. Now it's like giving temporary attack for every 3 gold that you spent which uh, still isn't very good but it, at least you can trigger that effect as opposed to the 12 gold requirement which is very crazy. You see this third is what uh, dictated my, my run, the direction of my run and I <laughs> You, how can you not go for a 5 meerkats when you level up twice and get 2 meerkats like come on man? Uh, I was debating here a little bit if I want to sell the opossum and to get the seer urchin instead but I think that it's not a sizable difference in my strength of the team. So I just uh, bypassed it. And you can see, <laughs> it's very difficult to play with meerkats, They're, like they have a, a stat line of a tier 1 unit which is very bad and the effect is usually worse than a tier 1 unit because you, you won't be getting to trigger it like Cone Snail is a 1-2 but it gives 2 more HP at level 1 and that's basically better than uh, what the meerkat is doing. The opossum is a 2-3 better stat line and it gives plus 1 plus 1 buff to a very relevant unit as you will see later on. But yeah, I'm just trying to survive at this point <laughs> it's not successful at all. But yeah, this is the turn where uh, all things change, I believe. I don't really remember, I've gotten so many wins that they're kind of all uh, mixed together in my mind. But yeah, this is uh, along the lines of the strategy that you want to be going for, you want the uh, weasels, that way at least you can get the, the 12 gold a turn and you can start triggering the effects. And I think I made a small misplay this turn, because uh, the uh, cabbage, is it a lettuce? Yeah, it is a lettuce, I, I get uh, lettuce and cabbage confused, excuse me. But yeah, the lettuce is very strong uh, with this team. I have uh, 4 tier 3 units, so uh, the lettuce is going to be uh, going at full effect and uh, hopefully buffing the meerkats if I'm going to be going for the 5 of them. You can see that I realize it a bit uh, too late, but uh, that's not a big issue because I managed to get lucky and get 3 lettuces and as well more weasels and more meerkats. This run is going very well, honestly. I, I don't think you could have gotten a better uh, a better uh, development than what I did. Like it, it's not even skill related, it's just uh, luck related, hoping to get the meerkats as well as the weasels and then hopefully not losing too many lives along the way. And uh, I'm not sure what I wanted to do here, maybe I wanted the meerkats to be buffing more but uh, I'm risking that I will be losing uh, more lives this way. But yeah, I think I got very lucky with the uh, unit that I got from the level up. Maybe the crane was the best unit that I could have hoped for because that way um, I'm not guaranteed to lose. <laughs> That's what I'll say. Because otherwise I don't think any other tier 5 unit is going to prevent me from losing. But you know, with uh, one strong unit with uh, melon armor after the first hit, I, I think I have uh, solid chances, especially with that uh, eggplant doing some disruption in the back. And yeah, you can see, even though the uh, the melon only uh, helped uh, prevent two damage, that was more than enough for me to win against this team, as, as well as with the eggplant that uh, moved around the trumpet units. It's, it's very disruptive <laughs> and uh, if you're not getting it usually I think you should be getting it. Like I wasn't uh, buying it myself but I saw people like uh, ground it on it and uh, put it to very good use honestly so uh, I think everyone can put it to good use if they try. 
maybe I shouldn't be giving you tips because I want to be <laughs> to be winning for uh, more five of a kinds in the future. But yeah, make it a, a bigger challenge if you want. Uh, usually on this turn I'm, I'm hoping for a level up as you already know, hoping to level into a bird of paradise, that's why I go for this level up, but unfortunately I don't get uh, any good unit. Well, the Highland Cow is actually a very strong unit, but um, it's not for this run obviously. But I level one more time and this time I do get the bird of paradise, which is very good. And next turn I'll hopefully, oh no, I actually decide to go for it this turn, which is maybe kind of risky. But uh, yeah, I think even though this turn is uh, this turn I'm going to be losing from the next turn, I think I have a solid chance of going for uh, for insane scaling, you know. Hopefully I find more chocolates and avocados, I do manage to find an avocado. And of course uh, the oysters, the oysters are basically the best thing I could be finding. Like with ideal oyster luck, if I only manage to roll oysters in the shop I can get this team to 50-50 easily. Which is kind of crazy to think about, but that's obviously never going to happen. But yeah, the, the, the stats are rolling in right now. And um, you usually want to have like... Uh, uh, how many is it? Uh, 16 go to turn, so that would make it uh, th that you would want to buy uh, two avocados so you can trigger the bird of paradise twice every turn and the meerkats at least once. And sadly, because the meerkat is a tier 3 unit and not a tier 4 unit, <laughs> you can't really buy pretzels at ma max efficiency, they only give plus 2 plus 2 stats. Which uh, kind of unfortunate, but what can you do? I'll just be settling for uh, pita breads and the uh, uh, tomatoes instead. But yeah, you can see it's going very nicely. And uh, even though I can't uh, use the cockatoo to its uh, full efficiency because I have no faint units, I'll be using the uh, blue ring octopus instead. That's giving uh, plus three plus three to the entire team. In total, I mean. And yeah, you can see the stats are finally starting to get there. I'm starting to win just because of my stats. But uh, I did mess up a little bit last turn, even though it's out of my control. Because I didn't get uh, two avocados, so <laughs> uh, I, I only get one trigger of the Bird of Paradise. Unless I find the oysters, but this turn I didn't manage to. So, kind of unfortunate, but what can you do? And you can see I'm so bent on getting the oysters that I'm not even uh, wanting to include another uh, <laughs> another meerkat on my team to be buffed because I'd rather have three strong units, I mean three very strong units than just uh, three kind of strong units and a relatively weak unit on my team. <laughs> I like this combo team. I didn't manage to disrupt it that much with my... Uh, with my eggplant, but uh, thankfully I did manage to scrape a draw because of the good stats. And maybe I shouldn't have frozen the two chocolates because uh, first of all I'm preventing myself from finding more avocados, and secondly uh, uh, the pita breads and tomatoes are just very, very important for this run. Like you can see that uh, with the high stats that I'm getting on the team, their base, the meerkats are basically guaranteed to survive their first hit, which means that they're basically guaranteed to get uh, 15 more HP. And uh, yeah, even though I'm kind of complaining about the run, the, the direction it's taking is very good, I'm, I can't really complain with that. And you can see even though I'm getting a single Bird of Paradise buff and uh, a single Meerkat buff from, the, from each of the Meerkats. Did I actually get a buff from the Meerkats that turn? I don't really remember. But whatever the case, you can see I keep winning. Thankfully not going up against the, the actually good go teams which would destroy me. And yeah, this is, uh, I'm on 9 wins, I'm not going to say that this is the final round because I don't believe it is. But we shall see. Oh no, it actually may be, I just take a while to, to think of what I should do. I'm trying to trigger the meerkats effects, 
but I'm also trying to have them not buff the oyster so I just uh, take uh, more caution to, to have them uh, you know not <laughs> not uh, trigger the oyster at uh, 12 uh, gold spent you know I guess the meerkat sorry if I'm confusing you and uh, yeah I think this is going to be it or maybe not let's see Oh yeah, I'm not definitely not winning against this team, sorry for misleading you twice in a row now. But it was kind of close, you know. With two more tomatoes I would have drawn that round. But yeah, now this is going to be the final round and a little bit of a misplay. I should be looking for pita bread but I think I buy the... Oh no, I don't buy it. But I do buy the tomatoes, which I think is a misplay once again because the pita bread is very, very strong here even stronger than the tomato but that's going to be it for me this uh, run thankfully won and i'm very happy with it so thank you for watching like sub do all the generic stuff and uh, i'll see you uh, next time take care